Welcome back guys to the Legend of Zelda Phantom Hourglass after completing the puzzles inside Muto's temple. We head towards the boss, let's go down the stairs and see what boss we will face today. On basement 3, it just seems like a long corridor to me. Step into the blue light to return to the temple's entrance, why thank you for giving us the warp and all. To be honest, what we're looking to do is fight, fight, fight. I wonder if the- oh, I was about to say, I wonder if the shockwave could destroy multiple jars, but no. Doesn't seem to be the way. Well, if you want hearts, there's a lot of hearts here, which means to me that maybe the dungeon item is the key, as it is with all bosses. So let's head inside and see what it is we may face, though the top screen seems important this time. As Eox Ancient Stone Soldier appears. Right, whoa! Okay, we're moving from here. What are we going to do? Well, until we know what to do, let's make sure we don't take as much damage as possible. Right, well, there's springy things to deal with here. And I float for a long time, which makes me wonder. Look for the obvious weak spot things. Ow! Right hand slap. How dare you, and now you're firing arrows, sir? I'm gonna take out your hand, though it still seems to leave a massive, hmm, wooden hammer. Well, okay, dungeon item it is. Swing away at the obvious pegs. Break his chest, right? You're gonna hit me on that side, so I'm gonna go the other way. Take out another hammer hand, which nearly got me. It seems to have a shockwave as well. Well, I can't seem to hit anything from here, so we're just gonna have to run around. Or I was wondering if I could just hit the leg if I wanted to. Well, that's said and done. Well, there's another leg gone. So much for all the stones you got on you, sir. All the bricks, we're just gonna get right around your back. Hopefully you're not be looking for me anytime soon, because I'm going to hit you in the bum. And then you break your arms as well. Don't speed up, sir. That's no fun. Well, can I go between you? Aha! Always the best way to go about doing things. If you can, well, there's one shoulder blade. There's the other one. Only the back of your head left now, sir. You haven't got much to you, have you? The good old going through the round thing. Ah, I can't hit it. Right, did we get one hit on it at least? Seems I can't hit it when it's up there shooting at me. If you don't come up with a leg attack soon, guy, you're not really going to beat me, are you? Finally, we break your head as well, though. It seems to me now we've got even more to do. Yeah! Arrows! No, we want to be around the front. Okay, that said. Uh, that's no good. Ow! Well, it seems we don't even need our power thing here. Okay, they turn blue and they go away from being blue. Interesting. Well, that's said and done. I'll hit them all. And turn them blue, because that's what colours do. But what's going on now, you say? Ah! Multiple arrows! I was about to say, surely I want to hit the gems. Maybe I want to get him on the catapult and then launch him, but it doesn't look like it at the moment. Well, we've got ultimate deflection ability, of course. So we want to get near him or something? We want to pull him near... Oh, or this. Looks interesting. But I'm thinking we want to land smack bang on his head. Indeed we do! And now it's just all about smashing him and getting him down? Well... Oh, I didn't get on just in time there. But to be honest, with this fairy on, we shouldn't even take any damage from any arrow that could possibly hit us. Spring me up, Scotty! And I'll bash away at your brain!
It was like Shadow the Colossus all over again! But another boss is defeated and for hardly any health loss as well! Didn't give us as much trouble as the dragons did! Come here, sand of hours! I'll take the extra two minutes! You got more sand for the Phantom Hourglass! We did indeed! Two minutes have been added! And a lovely big treasure chest! I think that'll contain, of course, our last... Our container! Nicely filled up to full with our blue heart frames of the moment. Well, let's head down and get ourselves our pure metal, eh? What's going round? What's going down? Hello, sir. Ha! So you're the one who restored silence to our temple. My name is Muto. I am the king of the Great Cobble Kingdom. Only the true hero would have with him the free spirit of the Ocean King. Not to mention the ability to defeat that foul beast. I know what you seek. So you say the Ocean King is in dire trouble. I can't help in my current state, but your presence gives me great confidence. I will give you our sacred treasure, the Aquanine. Please, take it with you. I will now return to my blissful slumber. We are all counting on you to help the Ocean King. No problem, sir, no problem at all. Let me claim myself. Our third pure metal, the Aquanine. It's one metal you need to make the sacred sword. In fact, it's a trio of metals and I've got them all. Only a sword forged with the three pure metals has the power to defeat Bellum. You did it. You got the pure metal from this island, Ollis. Come on, let's hurry back to Limebeck. Let's hurry back indeed. But to be honest, I'm wanting to explore the section that I haven't yet. Just in case there is another orb. Just in case there's something good. Now how do I get back around there? That's the real reason. That's the real thing to say. Too bad I can't smash through this wall in some way, shape or form. Oh, skeletons, you may be coming now, but smash. That is your fate from now on. Smash. I'm sorry about it, but just smash. Oh, except for you, sir, who managed to dodge and get away slightly. Now, what's the quickest way to our destination, do you reckon? Seems we need to get up on high a little bit. So if I had to say, it'd probably be this way. Oh, uh, apart from the jumping off, which I do on occasion. I was about to say, I wonder how good this hammer is on the mini blins, but... Yep, yeah, pretty good. From range, attacking, it's brilliant! Of course, we can't get ourselves up on high over there just yet. We need to go through the maze and all the way round. Which is problematic for any monsters or baddies. Well, we can collect rupees, it seems, with a hammer. In the end, I'll take what I can get. How's the hammer do with you? Smash it. Two hits. Ooh, this hammer's amazing. I can just keep smashy smashy. It's like Mr. Smashy Smashy Portable. How good is that? But, but extended brilliance. No rod needed, no anything required. You just are your own Mr. Smashy Smash. This is definitely how I prefer it. Sorry, Mr. Smashy Smash, you were our friend, but if we can condense your function into something that we own, you're losing out a little bit, sir. Ow, boulder. Well, we've got our blue shield on, so we won't take too much damage. All that we really require is to get right round. Excuse me, Mr. Mini Blin. Two shots with a thing, one shot with the hammer. Definitely the way I prefer it at the moment. Alright, so let's make sure not to fall here. Oh, there's a treasure chest down there, though. Well, we've come this far and we can get back this way, hopefully. So, with that said, we'll miss that treasure chest for now. 
Who knows if that one contained an orb and I've just walked past it. There's another one here. And another path here. Well, remember that chair. Uh, well, that looks dangerous. Well, no fake as it seems, and a fair bit of rupees for our trouble. Always good when that happens, so what's in this massive area? Apart from more skeletal fiends. Smash! Sorry. You too. Farewell, bye-bye, afi descent, adieu. So it didn't seem like there was anything down there in the end. A couple of monsters, but... Not a single treasure chest or anything like that. Well, we've seen two treasure chests thus far. So we could get up... Oh, we could just get up and jump down. It seems like we can go all the... We have to go all the way around either way. Well, I'll take... A courage gem. Exactly what we're looking for. Any gems are good for me. Ooh. Okay. A nice place that we could just jump over to Muto's temple. Well, that's said and done. Let's do it. Let's see what we can see. More treasure chests is the answer. We've got a big red rupee. It's worth 200. Puts us past 7,000. We are so rich right now. Well, one more treasure chest that we've seen along the way. Let's grab that one before getting out of here. Uh, all my piloting always makes me worried. Hopefully we'll get another orb over there. We've got at least four orbs from this island, or five if you count temple as well, I think it is. An orb this time, a big green rupee. Brings our monetary total up even higher. Hmm, shall I head down from here? Let's head back to where we need to be. Goodness, who knows what's over that way? Ah! Hopefully we're not missing any orbs or anything like that. Do we even need to roll this at this point in time? I'm confused. I'm just doing things at the moment. All because I need to get back to a certain spot. Line back, we're coming. Honest. We just had to clear up the island a little bit more. Some skeletons. Oi, I can't actually aim down there if I'm a higher platform. Get that out of my way. And Linebeck, here we come. We have all three pure metals, Linebeck. We have everything. Now it's time for you to congratulate us in your customary fashion. What's that? You got it? You got the pure metal, Ollis? Well, what are we still doing here then? Let's go. All right, then get on board. We're setting sail. But the question comes as to where we're setting sail to. Jolene's nearby and probably spoiling for another fight, so I'm gonna go check and see if she does anything different. And if not, I'll see you at the Isle of the Dead with the power of editing. And so we return to the Isle of the Dead where a little clue that was right under my nose all along, I completely skimmed over, thinking about the encompassing story, taking on with the Cobble Kingdom. But I still haven't found the treasure that is supposed to be in this room. And that is true of me, supposedly, because people have said there's a bumble wall here. So, let's look for likely candidates, because there's not going to be really one up there, is there? With all the... probably not one that way as well, because we probably see it. So it'd have to be this one, if anything. No cracks or anything to say, hey, it's a bumble wall, but... We'll break right through, so thank you again for your comments. What's this place? These are RuPaul's, yes? Well, with that said, I really don't want to pick up that one. Right, we'll shoot you, and then we'll go... Ah! Ten RuPaul! I lost ten rupees! Well, I made a shortcut. It took me away from the big one, so I'm happy about that. I definitely don't want to boomerang these things, do I? RuPaul's stick out a tongue. They stick out a ton. I definitely don't want to bash into one. Especially one of the big ones. Well, all the same, it looks like just rewards for my troubles. But is there another rupee light like here just to take away even more rupees after my troubles and tribulations? One way to find out is to boomerang grab. And why is there so many treasure chests down here? 
But we got ourselves a courage gem for the first one we've chosen. That's never a bad thing, because that's what we came for. The gem anchor ship part? Looks very pretty indeed. A treasure map, which leads us to where? Okay, up over there. And another gem anchor ship part. So there's gem anchors all around for those who want to look, who want to search. And a nice little way back. Without any of the root balls, I wonder how unrich you could get from being here. Well, that's for sure. If you collected them all, how many minus rupees would it be? You've, someone's seen them all. I mean, you've seen them all in that little video clip, so someone count. Someone count, I dare you. Right. So with that said and done, it's onwards to more salvaging by the look of it. We're another Courage Gem claimed. So let's find out what treasure we're salvaging next. Let's get down there with the crane. And hopefully, I pray, pick up some sand of ours, because it seems that that's what we're really missing at the moment. But an easy formation to dodge to start off with, with five rupees for free. Hmm, these rupees leading us to the side, are they leading me to the side for a reason? I don't know, but a red rupee awaits, and we always go for that challenge. We want to come out on the right hand side, so down we go. And the treasure chest is ours. Okay, I finally gained control of it after trying for a bit at the start there. It wasn't really going to be mine, but all the same, let's head to the middle. I don't care about a singular rupee. I do care about Mr. Guy's maybe bursting out from the side, but it seems that we bypassed them all without any issue. So with that said and done, full speed to freedom! And hopefully something nice. What's in the box once again? We got a Zora scale! This rare scale was dropped by a Zora, I'm sure it was. Well, with just a minor treasure found there, it's time to come head around and look for our remaining three orbs, and one of which supposedly might be at a fortune teller I've been reading in the comments. The other one requires us to get boarded, so whichever one comes first, I'll see you there. So we return to Astrid's Island to get our fortune told, because supposedly she holds a gem for us. She holds one indeed, yet another in fact. Has fate clouded your true course, Ollis? It has indeed. Well, it hasn't really. We just won ourselves a prize. Well then, I'll foresee where you must go next. Show me in your crystal ball, madame. I see it now. Your future. I see it. I shall speak. Listen with your hearts. You've rescued the spirit of wisdom! Please take this, Ollis! Now that's what we're after! You've got a wisdom gem! Our first gem total up to 20! Store it on the collection screen for now! You can increase the power of the spirits with those aiding your journey! I see! You have gathered the three pure metals! Sell to Zowls the blacksmith and ask him to forge the true sword you must wield! But the light! The light that seeks your help is so very weak! I'm sure it is, madame! Well, thank you for the wisdom gem! Thank you indeed! But mind you, we also have... Mail! Special delivery, watch out! Incoming! This is a letter from King Mato. Ahem, brace yourself. Boy clad in green, I was deeply impressed by your immense strength. I present you with a treasure for my kingdom. I hope it serves you well. His Majesty, King Muto. We get ourselves a power gem, it radiates power, but you can't use it like this, of course. Well, that brings us up to 20 of those as well. So all that's left for us to do is get boarded. And I don't know if this is the last time you'll see you, sir, and that's the end of it. Call that soon, I'm out of here. Onwards to the mail depot. Bye. So two power gems picked up, or two gems picked up, to bring our totals to 20, 20, and 19. Now it's time to get the final one of courage, eh? Let's get out there. So it's time to charge towards the pirates and hope to get boarded right then, sirs. Well, we don't want you, that's for sure. And we do want you to bash into us rather than try to blow us up your cannons. So let's get out the small one out of our way first. And then try to take you on, though I want you to really think about getting in. Bah! Ambush! And it seems to be what's happened. 
Come on then, line back. Here up, Alice. We've been boarded by foul monsters. As the commanding officer on this vessel, I order you to remove them at once. Go, charge, get them. Yeah. Sure thing. Well, I'll spin. And it seemed no more enemies even appeared. Only two guys? Well, that was rubbish. Ha! Did they actually think they had a hope against us? Ridiculous! Say, Ollis, here's a prize for you. Hang on to it. And we get our final gem, our courage gem. It radiates courage, but it can't be used like this. So, shall we turn them in, see what rewards we get? All right, Ollis, here we go. Let's put these waters behind us and quick. Let's get moving to the hour where we can turn all these in. Finally powered up to the full level. And so we return to Spirit Isle to do our final powering up of all our spirits. Let's get to it, eh? The spring is filled with mysterious light. Which spirit gems do you want to present? Well, let's go for power first, because that's our favorite most used one. So far, you have located 20 power gems with this many spirit gems. More of your spirit of power's true ability will be unleashed. Come forth, spirit of power. Using the spirit gems this boy has collected, search yourself for the true extent of your spirit power. So how powerful are you now? Has been powered up to level 2. Attack power is now maximized. Swap spirits on the collection screen. May divine protection of the spirits be with you everywhere you venture. Indeed. So I wonder if it's actually denoted or anything here. I guess the fire looks a lot more flamey, that's for sure. The spring is filled with mysterious light again. Which spirit one do we want? Let's go wisdom. Let's go wisdom. So far you found 20 wisdom gems. With this many gems, the spirit of wisdom's power will be awakened. Now this one's going to be a little bit less of a kind of really cool power or looking wise, I imagine. Using the gems that others has collected, you must now recall the true extent of your spirit power. Get out there, sir, madame. Fairy person. Get powered up. Spirit of Wisdom has been powered up! Your defense has been maximized! May the divine protection of the spirits be with you everywhere you venture. Why, thank you, sir. Now, I wonder what this looks like, if anything. Level 2 Spirit of Wisdom. The blue bars are the same. But I guess this is the kind of thing you can only really find out by being attacked. But if it takes half damage on top of the half damage, if you know what I mean, or whatever it was before, then we're looking kind of peachy for not taking much damage. Yes, that was a sentence. The spring is filled with mysterious light. Which spirit gems do you want to present? Courage! So far you have found 20. With this many gems, the spirit of courage's power will be awakened. Come forth, spirit of courage. Using the gems that all collected, you must now recall the true extent of your spirit power. Come on, Ciela. It's time for your power up. The power that we've really not used. The spirit of courage has been powered up. Your sword shockwaves are maxed. Right, let's check what these ones are out, really. Because everything is maxed. So let's see the visible difference here, eh? And I'm guessing what it's done is a bigger kind of radius. It maybe goes further. And of course, we can still smash the pots if we aim right. So with all three spirits powered up, it's onwards to more adventure, or more to the point. To upgrade our sword with the three pure metals, and also to find ourselves some missing sand of hours at the start of next episode. So join me then for more Phantom Hourglass as we head most likely onwards to the end. Bye bye.